What's up, everybody? It's your boy me here. They're calling me the Lighting Goblin. That's what they're calling me. Hold on. That's okay. Here's my hairbrush. Um, okay. For breakfast, I had leftover chicken pot pie. For lunch, I didn't have anything. Uh, well, technically, I guess I did have something. I had these potato, like sweet potato little cubes that my mom made in the air fryer. They were pretty good. We had this blue cheese sauce with them. They were tasty. Uh, and for dinner, we had pizza. My mom made pizza and it was very good. Um, so I woke up at eight. Uh, I um, sort of just did my thing. I don't know. I uh, actually, this is, a, this is a good time to mention this. Uh, if you go to odyssey, O-D-Y-S-E-E dot -E com slash at Leo the P-O. Um, I am now synced on uh, Odyssey. So Odyssey is this YouTube competitor. Um, if I go to their main page here, you can see they sort of have, uh, you know, they have three clicks fill up. They have some ordinary gamers. They have distro two. If you're into that, um, you know, they have they have cool they have cool things on here, you know, and uh, you know I don't, I don't agree with a lot of people on here, of course, but um, you know there's this really cool feature where you're able to sync your your YouTube channel with Odyssey, and it was super easy. All I had to do was just give them my app. I had to go I had to email them quite a bit because I'm just gonna try my light. There we go. I had to email them quite a bit because I was having this issue where, um, you know, uh, when I had previously tried to sync my channel, I didn't meet the requirements. Uh, but then I did, but they still weren't letting me sync my channel. Um, but now everything's set up, everything's good. I emailed them. I've got, uh, you know, at Leo the PO, and I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and yeah, so all my videos are also on here. And, you know, it goes back to all of them. It took two seconds, really easy. Um, I could imagine maybe I could be shown to a new audience on this platform. And you know, I mainly have this channel for me, not other people, right? But um, you know, uh, I think I might, I'm, at some point I'll probably change the, the donation links. Previously, I could only do donations through like crypto because I was under 18 uh, up until like exactly a month ago, uh, but now I'm, 18, I can set up like PayPal and stuff like donations and um, you know that that that's all a little more ideal and I can't imagine everybody's gonna want to donate to me in Monero you know so um, of course I haven't gotten any donations but imagine what if like a rich person finds my channel and it gives me a million dollars you know I can put that into like like a, like a dividend like stock or, or something <laughs> I don't know what to do with a million dollars um, but you know, um, you know, I think it's good to have donations, cause, just in case, you know. Um, but yeah, Odyssey, everything synced up, so I'm happy about that. So I set that up this morning. Um, then after I set up Odyssey, I went on the treadmill and I ran. Um, I ran, like Iraq. Um, no, but I ran on the treadmill. Um, and typically, you know, I do a run 5.3 miles an hour on the treadmill. And it goes pretty well, but um, yesterday I did an eight mile run, which is, yeah, eight mile one, or eight mile run, which is pretty crazy. Um, and I was like, well, you know, this time I might as well go one mile more, you know, I'm gonna go for nine miles, right? And then, you know, I was almost at nine miles. So I was like, well, I might as well go for 10, so it's a round number. And I was nearing 10, and I was thinking, man, wouldn't it be really cool to tell my friends I ran 12 miles on the treadmill? And I was like, yeah, it would be cool. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go for 12 miles. And uh, you know, I was nearing up to the 11th mile and I was thinking, how much is a marathon? Like, I can't imagine it's that much more than what I, I'm doing. So it turns out a marathon is uh, 26.2 miles, I think. Um, and I was like, well, I'm not doing a marathon, but I can do a half marathon because uh, that's 13.1 miles. So I went to 13 miles uh, the thing that sucks is that a half marathon is 13.1 miles, right? So I decided just to round it out, do a 14 mile run. So here are the ending stats. I ran from 11 a.m. to 1.42 p.m. Um, 
it was for two hours and 26 minutes uh, altogether. Um, but the elapsed time was two hours and 41 minutes because in the middle of it, I went upstairs and had those potato things because my mom made them. Um, it was only for like eight minutes. Um, I ran for 14 miles. I burned 1,834 calories. Um, and my avatar, it was 153. So yeah, you know, I'm pretty happy about it. Um, you know, it's the longest I've ever ran. I caught, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven awards today on, oh, there's like a moth on my window. I got seven awards today on the Apple Fitness app. I got a running workout record at 1,835 calories. I got a perfect move week, fastest half marathon, longest running workout, half marathon, 200% move goal, and new move record. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm really happy about that run. Uh, and then after that, uh, I sort of just waited around. I had dinner, um, which was pizza, and that was very tasty. Um, oh, let me show you guys something. One sec. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, yeah, after I had um, exercised on the treadmill, um, I then, you know, put my, uh, put my hoodie into the wash. Um, and I also, this morning, uh, I got this. New water bottle. Uh, it's a thermo flask, uh, which is a hydro flask, which is uh, sort of a silly, frivolous purchase. I don't know. It's a very branded type. Th it's like a brand type thing, right? You know, people walk around with their hydro with their hydro flasks, right? But you could just get any other insulated water bottle. But the reason why I got one is because this is my old water bottle. Um, it has my name on it and it's engraved, right? It's got this reflective tape on it, which by the way is the most reflective tape in the world. Um, like actually it's, it's like certified, super reflective. Um, it's got this cool little cobra knot that I made on it with, uh, with uh, paracord. Um, it's got a thing for some earplugs and I completed my math placement, which um, you know, in the place where they make you do your place math placement tests, there was just a stack of like hundreds of these um, in the, uh, there's just a stack of hundreds of these, like just unused. And I thought it was very funny. That there are a whole bunch of stickers that says, I completed my math placement. So I just had this on here. Um, on the bottom, it was pretty battered, but the main reason why I got a new water bottle is because of this. Look. Look, it's like broken here. Do you see that? Yeah. It's broken. And it's really spooky because right now it's not that much of an issue, but when this is full of water um, yeah. and you hand your water bottle to someone, they always hold it like this. Cause of course you hold it like this. Like you weren't thinking, right? But um, they don't realize that, you know, this is definitely gonna break. Um, and the time it would take for a new uh, lid to ship, like a new thermo flask lid uh, was longer than it would take for this new water bottle to ship. So I just decided to get a new water bottle. Um, you know, it's cool. I like it. I really like the color. I chose this color. Um, and here's the cool part. This is what I did after I exercised. Check it out. Leo Dean, September 24th, 2023. And you know, September 24th, 2023 is the, um, the day um, today, right? But I always like to engrave the day I engraved the object into the, into the object. You know, so it says January 8th, 2023. And this says September 24th, 2023. And I just think that's really cool. And it's engraved in there with my Dremel. Uh, and I'm really happy about it. Um, yeah, I'm pr I might do uh, some sort of thing with paracord here. I, I like having a little paracord thing. I think it's fun. Um, but you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, my face looks really bad right now. I'm oh, sorry guys. Does, is that, does that show up in real life? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Um, I was looking at my mirror. Uh, my face looks all red and horrible and it's cause I was working uh, my job recently. I've been painting a lot and I have a pretty minor latex allergy and the paint has uh, latex in it, or at least the allergen in latex that leads to what's happening on my face. And it sucks because I'm breathing in these paint fumes, right? And it's, uh, you know,
for someone who doesn't have an allergy, uh, you know, they don't even need to wear a respirator, right? But, you know, I'm just painting and my face gets all red and it sucks. Well, it dries my skin out and then my face gets all red, but, you know, it should go away pretty soon. It's happened before and it went away, so, yeah. Um, what else? I set up my emergency fund in Fidelity with SPACs. Uh, I don't know if Fidelity is FDIC insured, but uh, I really trust SPACs because um, I think they've barely gone under one dollar, and um, you know they have four point nine five percent interest. And I think it's a great place to keep your emergency fund. Uh, I could keep it in a place like Ally, but I don't know. I trust Ally a little less than like Fidelity. They're called Fidelity, you know. Uh, maybe I'll regret that decision later, but for now, it sounds like a pretty good idea. Um, but yeah, check out the difference. Um, they're both 40 ounces. Um, it's actually a little funny because I exclusively drink water out of 40 ounce bottles. Um, right here is basically my water cup at home. I only drink water out of this at home. I just pick it up and I and I drink it, right? And uh, you actually you actually buy these in a pack. Um, <laughs> we bought this and this from Costco on the same day several years ago, uh, but I exclusively drink water out of this. And when I'm out of the house, I exclusively drink water out of this. And they're both 40 ounce containers. And uh, this sounds a little crazy, but whenever I drink, like whenever I have like a 20 ounce water bottle with me, I either drink way too much water or I don't drink enough water. Uh, you know, last time I was at work and I forgot to bring my water bottle, um, I barely drank any water the whole day because it's just like, it, it messes with like if if you only drink water out of forty ounce bottles, your your mind becomes shifted in a certain in a certain way to where you know you think about the weight of the bottle and like the way it holds and everything just to sort of tell when you need to get more water and like when you're thirsty and everything and you know it's just uh, a little bit of trouble, but yeah this one's really nice. Uh, something I really like about it is how simple it seems to clean. Uh, on this one, there's a. Is this grody? Will this be grody? Hold on. No, okay. So on this one, there's like this lid and it's got this and all this in here and this through here and this through here it has an O-ring in there and it goes in and out and you have to wash in there. But here, it seems a lot more simple uh, because there's just this and there's just this. So it seems, it seems a little easier to clean it. So I'm happy about that. Uh, it's dishwasher safe, which is great and you know, I'm happy about it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about this purchase. It was $50. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It was 50, $50. That's crazy for a water bottle, but I don't know. I guess maybe that's just how much water bottles cost. And to be fair, it looks nice. So I don't know. Yeah. Water. Shout out. Can you tell which one is new? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's cool. And yeah, I'm done talking about done talking about water bottles now. Has anything else been happening? Not really. I, I've sort of been setting up my laptop. Setting up my laptop. Uh, I've just been using it. Uh, something I like doing, which is sort of a combination of laziness and productivity, um, is I like just using my laptop as my main computer, which is what I've been doing for the past few days. And whenever something comes up, uh, like I notice, oh, it's annoying that I have to click uh, on my touchpad to tap. Uh, to, to like register. It's annoying that I have to click instead of just tapping my touchpad to register a click, right? Or, you know, it's annoying that I don't have like blue light, blue, like blue light uh, filtering, you know? Or it's annoying that, um, you know, just stuff like that, right? And um, it's cool because I'm just able to quickly like fix that problem, you know? And, it, it, it's it's pretty nice, uh, but yeah. Now now I'm on Odyssey and I'm, and I'm pretty happy about it. Man, Odyssey is really weird. I don't even like. Isn't it impossible to have a video platform that makes money? How is Odyssey making money? Like the server costs for a video hosting platform are so high. Like they're unusually high. Like not unusually high. Like it makes sense, but like. It costs a lot of money to host a video platform, so it makes me wonder how long Odyssey is going to stay up because it's not going to stay up forever. Man. I'm just looking at my stuff on Odyssey. It's weird. It's weird. 
Yeah, watch me on here if you want, but don't feel obligated. I say to no one. Are these notifications just for people? Yeah. Who do I even follow on here? Following. Who do I follow? Okay. I, I follow all people I sort of like. I stopped watching some ordinary gamers. I watched him a lot when he did his deep web browsing videos, but now he just makes like, like commentary videos and everyone makes commentary videos. Like it seems to just be the YouTube meta, right? Ro Ramden, now, you know, I love, like I love what Some Ordinary Gamers is doing and I love what like Ro Ramden is doing and they're wildly different creators, but you know, it's just a little sad because I feel like, you know, commentary video sort of just being the meta on YouTube right now, uh, you can see people who do YouTube as a job just sort of like, start to make commentary videos. Like, Ro Ramden used to make these, used to. Like, everything's still really nice. But, it's just, it's, it's, it's depressing to like, it's like, oh, Noah Sampson made a new video about this Sneeko clip that just came out where like these kids are acting like crazy people in front of him, right? Because of the stuff he says, you know? And Noah Sampson has an identical take to Ro, Ro Ramden. And Ro Ramden has an identical take to, to Nick is not green, right? And it's, these are all three people who made wildly different content from one another, who now regular content output is all the same things. And it's just a little depressing. Um, but you know, what can you do? Uh, and plus, you know, they're still bangers, respectfully. These videos are still bangers, so. Um, <sighs> Yeah. Some ordinary gamers, I think he's so rich. Like, he has a lot of money, I think. Um, like, last I heard, he worked for, like, some sort of, like, financing company or something. Like, something to do with money, and I assume that if you have a job that works with money, that you're rich. Uh, but maybe that's not true. But, um, yeah. Alright. See ya, dude.